Hello, Tableau people. It is time to begin our 30-day challenge. It is November 1st. I'm actually recording this on day one on November 1st. You may wonder why the outfit. Well, because I'm a huge Ohio State Buckeyes fan. But also because yesterday was Halloween. I taught an extensive class yesterday to a client. I promised them that I would, I, I kind of promised them I would show up in a costume. This is as close as I get to a costume. So I figured I'd throw it on again today. Got to celebrate the, um, the black guys were ranked number one last night in the college football playoff poll. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'd kind of much rather be the come from behind underdog. Anyway, um, but celebrating that okay. being a Buckeye fan, life is good. Okay, so we've got a 30-day Tableau challenge. Our challenge is 30 days. We're going to work on Tableau every day. And the milestone marker that we're going to hit within 30 days is we're going to earn the Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification. Now, I'm going to be talking throughout about the why and what is our purpose for doing this. The certification in and of itself has some value, but not much. There are plenty of people out there that are certified idiots and they just, they stack paper. They get, most of them are out there getting low effort stuff like Udemy or Coursera certs that, you know, really don't require you to prove anything. You're just kind of sitting there through videos. Anyway, be that as it may. Um, the, the certification in and of itself has limited value. It does have some value. It is a proof of knowledge. There is a proctored test. However, it is quite possible to attain the bare minimum knowledge to pass a test and really not have a, a very good working knowledge of a platform. That is not our goal. Our goal is to attain a good, working, usable, employable knowledge of Tableau. So at the end of this 30 days, what I want my followers and the people that engage in this challenge to have is the ability to take Tableau to an employer and say, I can use this to make you money because that's going to get you a job. And so what we need is a bunch of demonstrable skills and a bunch of projects that we've done that show knowledge, mastery of the subject matter originality. They're not cookie cutter projects from somebody else's data set, somebody else's uh, online project. We are going to follow some of those, but you need to be able to sit down at a terminal, bring up Tableau, get to work with an unknown data set and produce actionable, meaningful visualizations and present them in a useful manner. That's what's going to get you employed. And that's my goal. Okay. Enough on the why. The start of this challenge has been a little, I don't want to say messy, but we had Maven Analytics, which is a great platform. And let me go ahead and bring up my side screen here. Maven Analytics, wonderful platform. Um, did not, they failed to synchronize their, their free giveaway with my 30-day challenge. Darn them. Maven Analytics did a free, um, a free week of all of their stuff. And the one course that I truly recommended was Tableau Desktop Certification Prep. Obviously, that's a low-hanging fruit there. It's, a, it's, it's right in our wheelhouse. This course is excellent. I have only done, you can see I'm 27% complete. So I've skimmed some of the rest of it. The course is wonderful. I, I did part of it on Maven. I actually have it on Udemy. So the week was prior to the 30 days. If you did this course, good on you. As far as I can tell, this is the best one-stop shop prep for the desktop certification. It also prepares you for the uh, data analyst certification, which is something that I plan to do in a follow-on 30-day challenge at some point. Um, <clears throat> but it wasn't optimal for our timing as far as if people are trying to do the 30 days in November, that uh, that free giveaway expired yesterday. Although I'm actually, I'm still able to get 
on these. So I don't know if maybe if you got on a course, maybe you got a little grace period, maybe it expires at you know working hours today, who knows? It's, it's early morning. I got up at 2.30 to take my wife to the airport. Um, and so I came back and I said, yeah, let's make some content since I failed to do that before. Okay, so I didn't finish this course during the previous week. I fully intended to. Life got in the way. My youngest son had uh, had plays that he put on um, up at uh, the school where he goes. And so my wife and I went to attend multiple shows of that. So that wiped out my entire weekend between going to those and driving back and forth. And then um, Halloween was last night, trick-or-treaters. I mean, what are you going to do? So I did not finish this. I fully intend to finish this course, assuming Maven locks up this the freebie here. I fully intend to finish this course on Udemy. What I recommend to you is I think this, as I said, this course is the best one-stop shop to prepare you. We're going to do some other stuff to get good at Tableau, not just teach to the test. But to prepare for the test, this is the best course for you. If you are trying to do this 30 days completely free, um, you know, and that's what I try to advertise is free assets as much as possible, then absolutely Maven's not going to be there for you because they don't have like a free 30 day trial of their platform or anything like that, like, <clears throat> like Alteryx does, like Tableau does for 14 days. So there's just no way to get this course for free that I know of, unless you did it this past week. If you want to drop just a little bit of money, you can get on Udemy. If you, if you hop on Udemy for the first time, you'll get their discount price and you can get this very course for, I believe, $13. If you time it wrong and you get on Udemy and it says you got to pay $85, there's a way to get the discount. Just send me a message and I'll clue you in. I don't, I don't know if I want to be putting that out uh, in, in full YouTube form. But anyway, um, it, it's fairly, if you do a quick Google search, you can find out how to get Udemy's discount price anytime you want. Okay, so enough on that. That's a great course, but that the freebie is gone. So I highly recommend that course. I think I will revisit that. I, I like this course a little bit better as, as sort of a capstone. Um, so I may revisit completing that course at the end of the month. Okay, here's what I wanna do this week. Well, here's what I want to do today. I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to download Tableau Public. I actually started this video as it was uninstalling. I see that it is now completed uninstalling, so I'm going to download Tableau Public and demonstrate to everybody how to do that. Um, if you don't like my demonstration, Alex Freeberg has a great one as well. Go to his Tableau playlist. It's only like five videos. First one, he shows how to download uh, Tableau Public. We're going to do that. And then I'm going to talk you on to the Coursera course. Coursera Data Analyst course has one chapter on data visualization. That chapter has a portion that deals with Tableau. So I'll talk through that for just a minute. But before we do that, let us, and let me re-download, let me make this big and me small. More of Tableau public and less of me is a good thing. Everybody have a good Halloween. Lots of kids in our neighborhood. That's why I like this neighborhood. A lot, of, a lot of kind of young families, lots of kids. People actually come from outside our neighborhood to come trick-or-treat in our neighborhood uh, because it's just there's just so many people. And most people that have a house are out there handing out candy and having a good time. Um, I'm not drinking this month, but people were drinking out there. And they were having, a, having fun. Okay. So this is Tableau Public. You just, all you need to do, uh, maybe I'll post a link to this, but it's super simple, public.tableau.com. And of course I haven't turned on Zoom it. Let's do that now. I mean, why do, why do show prep? That's not how I roll. There we go, zoom it.exe. Thank you, can we zoom? Oh, come on, silly thing. Hourglass of death, okay. Here we go. We got to zoom in. Okay, so here you are, public.tableau.com. That is, so everybody should be able to type that in. I, I don't know if I need to post that link. Okay, so you're gonna go to public.tableau.com. This is Tableau Public. It's not only where you download Tableau Public, but it's also where you can come and find visualizations. There's a little social aspect to it. 
please come, uh, you see I'm not signed in right now, but please come find me. I'm listed under my name. I don't think you have handles. Anyway, maybe I'll check it at the end of the video, but come find me, connect with me, uh, follow me, I'll, I'll follow you. So it's a great Breaking Benjamin song. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, go to Create here and download Tableau Desktop Public Edition. Now, if you've got a Mac, sorry, I don't join cults. So um, I, I'm sure that there's a different button to click, but all right, download Tableau Public, big blue button, super easy. Um, I'm already registered, so I'm gonna sign in. I suggest you register first, register for Tableau Public. Um, yeah, remember me, sign in. Hopefully that's still my password. Oh, I think that might be the wrong one. Hold on, I'm gonna pull. Okay, all good now. So yeah, there's me. Um, you can follow me, connect with me. We'll follow each other. Okay, you'll be exploring in minutes. Download Tableau Public. Yeah, why does it keep taking you to like, hit sign in, sign in, all right. <laughs> Feels like we were just here. Download Tableau Public. There we go. Just make sure my microphone's on. Thank you for downloading Tableau Desktop Public Edition. I don't know about yours. I don't have an aggressive pop-up block or anything, but mine never works. So Mac users, uh, cult followers, click here. Us normal folk, Windows. Okay, so it says 14 minutes left. Let me pause real quick. I will come back when it wraps up. All right, unpausing here. We've got one second left on our download. Give it time to cook. And as you can see, the, when I download it last time. So it just came out with an update, the 2023-3, which I just downloaded like, I don't know, two days ago. So here's my second one. I suppose I could have just opened the previous file, but I'm not that smart. It's so always this click once. Is the computer thinking or did it not register the click? Oh, thinking. There we go. All right, let me scooch this over. Um, we'll minimize that. <coughs> yes, Microsoft, I'm aware. It's not a verified Microsoft product. See my wife's Chrome login over there. Yeah, so a lot of people on LinkedIn, I sh I'll post this video as soon as I get it up. Um, there won't be any, obviously there won't be any editing. I'm getting on towards eight o'clock. I gotta get this video posted. I've got a class to teach at nine. So we are, uh, as usual, I'm leaving everything to the last minute. Here we go. Welcome to Tableau. I've read and accept the terms. Uh, don't need to send product usage data. Trust that whatever problems I have, yes, I want to be able to make changes to my hard drive. It's kind of important for installing things. Okay, so this may take a while as well. I may pause and come back to this. We'll give it a second to cook. Anyway, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the Tableau install. Got a ton of people responding to the challenge on LinkedIn. As per usual, I did not give it the, the hype train that I really wanted. This seems to happen every time I do LinkedIn hard mode. I have these grand dreams leading up. I'm like, I'm gonna do like a month of lead in. I'm gonna do like, multi, you know, two, three times weekly. I'm gonna have these promotional posts. It never happens, it never happens. Life gets in the way. Anyway, all right, so it looks like this is gonna hang up a little bit. Anyway, those of you that are you know out there talking about the challenge, this one is definitely gonna be, um, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think we're gonna wind up having 40 or 50 people, at least on the, at the jump, participating on day one, which is fantastic. Um, but if you're putting, ooh, stuff's happening. Look at that. If you're putting the word out there, keep, keep getting it out there. This content's gonna be evergreen. I hesitate to call any of my content evergreen, but 
people are still doing the Alteryx challenge. They're still watching the videos, and I love that. Um, and so this content is going to be out there. People can do this as a 30-day challenge, as an ultra-learning challenge, whenever they want. So as we're waiting for the green bar to fill, I just want to say, if you're reading the book Ultra Learning, if you've ever read it, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend that you take that in as part of this challenge. I am going to bring up a lot of concepts from that book because that's really what inspired me to go forward with these and have this be a recurring thing. Not just the first one, which is me talking about my area of expertise, which is Ultrix, but to bring it forward and as I'm learning things like Tableau, potentially Power BI, SQL, whatever, other skill sets we're doing going forward, um, I want to use this as an ultra learning thing for me to learn and also to teach other people. So I imagine a lot of these videos are gonna be me kind of stumbling through stuff, but, um, you know, that's a good way for other people to learn too. It's definitely a good way for me to learn is by teaching others and at least talking out loud through my learning process as I'm putzing around making mistakes in Tableau. Okay, so we had a spurt of activity there and now it seems to have frozen up. I'm sure it doesn't help that I'm also doing a, essentially a video conference at the same time. Kind of robs a little bit of the processing power that might have been devoted to Tableau Public. Okay, and we don't get an assessment of how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna pause the video. I will wait for this to load up real quick. I may click back on uh, right when it's done. Okay, pause it for a minute or two. Green bar has almost filled. Come on, little green bar. Let's get to the finish line there. Okay, so total time elapsed here. I know I'm at 17 minutes on the video. I've only paused the, the recording for a couple minutes here and there. Somebody just accepted my LinkedIn connection request. That's good. So I am connecting with everybody that's doing this challenge. I don't generally do that. Usually with LinkedIn hard mode, I wait until people have completed a week or so and are engaging and doing stuff. On this one, hey, I'm just, I'll accept or I will throw out a connection request to anybody that engages with me publicly and says, I'm doing the challenge. Cool, connection request sent. Some of them are going out without messages. I'm trying to be a little bit more efficient with my time. In the past, I have sent zero connection requests without messages. Uh, lately, yeah, it's just, it hasn't been that great. And in the past, I've also, when people send me connection requests without a message, if I choose to accept it, which is you know, about a 50-50 proposition in that case, I will always send them a message. Lately, I have stopped doing that as well. Um, just know that I've had very few productive productive connections that started without an initial conversation, uh, some sort of exchange, some sort of mutual interest. If somebody throws me a connection and they, they seem somewhat interesting, I'll usually accept, but now I'm not starting conversations with them anymore. Like, if you don't want to talk to me, cool, I don't want to talk to you. you I'm just a number to you. You can be just a number to me too. Um, so I hate that I've gotten to that point, but at this point, the numbers and the time demand of uh, connecting with everybody or, or, you know, engaging with, chatting with everybody that I connect with on LinkedIn, it's just too overwhelming. Um, but just know, like, yeah, if you want productive connections on LinkedIn, you got to talk to them. It requires a conversation. Every once in a while, I'll get a request from somebody that says, hey, can you refer me for this job? Or, you know, I see this open position at Alteryx. Can you put in a good word for me? And no, like, we we don't know each other. If I look at our message history and there's nothing there, whoop, and there's nothing there, then what, how am I going to recommend you? I don't know your work habits. I don't know what your expertise is. <laughs> Come on, install. Let's go. All right, let's give it a second or two. This is fun. We're all staring at a black screen. All right, let me pause. I don't know how long this is going to take and I'll come back when something's going on. All right, for whatever reason, it didn't launch when the 
install closed? Oh no, that's still the exe. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see if it works. There we go. Okay, of course it shows up on a different monitor. Give me one second. Trust me, Tableau Public is booting up real quick. All right, so we've done what we came here to do, downloaded Tableau Public. Um, we can go ahead and we can connect to a file. I've already got this hooked to uh, my Tableau repository, which is in documents folder. I don't remember how it automatically sets these up. I didn't see where the usual file that you use is you go into your Tableau repository, you go to data sources. You can see that I didn't, I didn't get a new one here from 2023.3, but if you go in there, you'll find the Superstore uh, data, and then you can upload that. This is not a video on connecting to data. I'll do a, a later one on that, but just um, you should get the Superstore data. I just don't see where it downloaded for the 2023.3. So if anybody sees that on their install, they're doing that today by all means, uh, put that in the comments and I'll be happy to do another one on that. So here we've got Superstore, orders people, returns, the usual stuff, and we'll start talking about connecting with data later. But that is the Tableau public download. Okay, what else to talk about? All right, so last thing, what I wanna do this week, up until the 6th, is work on this uh, the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. You can go on Coursera, you can make a, a login, a, a profile, that's free. You can, um, I've actually switched my Coursera. I have several Coursera accounts. I have a veterans account with some free stuff. I have a girl with Google because I um, briefly did a military internship with Google. And so I kind of get all of the Google Coursera stuff for free even the new stuff that comes out, which is pretty cool. I think that's like lifetime, that's amazing. But um, you can do, the fun fact that people don't know about the Google Coursera content, you can do all of it for free. You just audit it. And you don't, uh, you're not gonna get a certificate at the end. So if the certificate matters to you, awesome. I'm not gonna do a challenge on that because you can just sit through these things. There's no proof of value. I'm, I'm only interested in doing challenges on tests that require you to sit for a test and have a proof of value. Um, but if Google appeals to you, if Coursera appeals to you, awesome, go, go do the courses. Um, what we are going to do is use this. So if we go down to the courses, here they are. And it's this sixth one, share data through the art of visualization. So let's open that up and see what's what. And when you open these up, if you're familiar with the Google courses, they go by um, the, the overarching course, the data analytics course has seven different sub courses in it and then a capstone project. Do the capstone project. If you do the Google data analytics course, do the capstone project. Don't ever slime out of responsibility. Anyway, um, when I did this course, when it first came out, I was not super enthused that the visualization course was actually my least favorite. And the reason why was because I felt like there was way too much theory of visualization and color combinations and things like that. We're not going to do any of that. If that interests you, it's right there for you. This would be a fairly simple course to knock out in a week or so. What I want us to do is this second module. And then I believe the third module also includes some work and projects. But we're gonna go through this together, but what I want us to start with is this module two, creating data, data visualizations with Tableau. Um, and so you can see it's five hours worth of content. That's gonna be the bulk of what we do here for the first five days. So November 1st to the 5th, and I'll do some more content talking through this. First to the 5th, Assuming you're not doing the Maven course paid now, the free content, we are going to audit this second module, and there's some more stuff, of the Coursera Google Data Analytics course, the Tableau content, okay? 
So anything that doesn't deal with Tableau, we're just gonna skip right over it. I will do another video where I'm kind of going through some of this and talking about some of the work that gets done. You will do some, some good little visualizations in this course. There's gonna be some production and that's what I wanna emphasize is making visualizations. Okay, so that's for the first to the fifth. On the sixth, I will come out with a video. I'll make it on the fifth, start on the sixth. There is a major e-learning platform that is going to do a two week free period from the 6th to the 20th. That will be the focus of our study beginning on the 6th. So today is the first, the first, Colin Firth. Anyway, today is the 1st of November. The 6th, therefore, would be the 8th, the 6th, the 6th, Monday. Okay, Monday, I'm going to come out with a big banger of a video talking about this platform, what I like about it is a platform that I use and have used before. There is great learning on there. I'm gonna talk about the platform, the courses, the projects that I recommend that we're gonna do for two weeks. And that is gonna be, it's really gonna be some good work. And I think if you don't have a portfolio, if you don't have demonstrations of your prowess, of your ability to make visualizations and use Tableau, that is gonna be the thing for you. All right, we're done with Coursera. Get to work on that, folks. Let me close that part out so you can just see me and all my Buckeye glory. I've not showered yet. Uh, yeah, like I said, got up at 2.30, went for a run, took the wife to the, uh, to the airport, came back and was like, well, it's six o'clock, I got my whole day ahead of me. Um, and came up here to make content. So, and now I've got a class in 45 minutes, so I better go take a shower so I'm presentable for those folks. I, I can only wear my Halloween costume one day, then I gotta look professional again. All right, so that is that. We're coming up on a half hour, which is longer than I intended to make this video, and I've been sitting here longer than a half hour with all the pauses. Folks, um, I appreciate everyone that's following this challenge. I hope you enjoy or at least getting something out of my kind of rambling. I'm not gonna break this up into chapters because that sounds like work. Maybe someday down the road I'll do that. But um, yeah, I hope you got something out of this. Hit me up with questions, comments, concerns. Drop them below down in the comments. Make sure you're following this channel. Make sure you turn on those notifications so that you never miss a video for this challenge. Go follow me on LinkedIn. Turn on notifications there so you never miss my LinkedIn content. And with that, all I have left to say is, hey, stick with me, folks, and I'll make you a genuine Tableau hero just like me.